I have a love-hate relationship when it comes to nulls. You know, nulls are this keyword, if you will. It's a value, but it's not a value. It's a value that represents the absence of a value, and it's really important in database engineering. You know, sometimes you cannot just use a zero to represent a, a missing value because zero could be one valid value, you know. You can do tricks and do minus one and or or minus negative nine thousand or whatever that, to represent that uh, something that is not applicable but nulls are very convenient we love them and we do all sorts of tricks when when we store nulls you know uh, we don't actually store a value we trim the row storage as a result we try to be very efficient when it comes to this but we also do nasty stuff uh, because there is no standard when it comes to null. I guess we can say that nobody agrees on the SQL standard for what to do with nulls. So every database does different things. And we notice that some of the things is nulls are sometimes not indexed. So if you create an index on a table that happens to have a null and you did a query that says where this column is null, that won't use the index. And some people don't know that effectively that could cause uh, you know performance problems but this is a new thing that i never knew that existed actually a little bit nasty postgres 15 kind of solves it but let's discuss so this comes from rust proof labs let's read the part where they discuss uh, the old style what we have today here let's think about this right so if i create a table this is the name of the table. You have a field, the primary key, value one, value two, and this value two can be null, right? And you created a constraint, and this is the name of the constraint, and this is a unique constraint. That means these two values must be unique. That means if you insert a value of one and three, you can never insert another entry, another row with the value one and three. That sounds simple to understand and if you do you're gonna get a constraint violation error because this constraint was violated same thing when you create a you create a unique index on a given column or a collection of columns very very similar these two things so if we if we look at this look what happened if we actually use a null so if i'm going to insert here a value into this so they are uh, inserting five rows effectively value one is hello and value two is null so technically these are the same values but guess what it is they are allowed in so you can have hello null hello null hello null hello null. Hello, despite it it's it's clearly violating the uh the unique constraint but why is that the, to answer this we go to the unique null treatment option this has been a thread since 2021 from the postgres team let's read this and discuss this this is from peter azen trout i think he's a really big in the postgres community the sql standard has been ambiguous about whether null values in unique constraint should be considered equal or not it's always goes back to the standards you know if the standard doesn't clearly specify everything then you have wiggle rooms and this is where things go out of hand you know different implementation have different behavior in sql 2020 draft this has been formalized by making this implementation define and adding an option on a unique constraint defines unique distincts so nulls by default were always treated as distinct so if you insert a null each null is to the database is a different null that just hurts my head thinking about it but it is what it is so what they are adding is a brand new option here unique nulls distinct or not distinct so now you can effectively specify whether you want the null to be distinct or not. The default behavior is the effectively the current behavior, which nulls are distinct. Each null is different from the other null, right? So you can do unique 
not distinct and that's what the team at rust proof here shows in the new style supported by postgres 15. what do we do we create the same table same thing here integer value one value two constraint the constraint name unique nulls not distinct the nulls are nulls they are all the same i guess mathematically speaking you can you i think ma mathematicians argue about the infinity the same thing right is infinity equal to infinity right all philosophical thoughts that i really have no interest in <laughs> and brain power to think about to be honest but yeah when you do that and you insert a, a value you get to insert one value that goes in but the moment you insert another entry with null and hello you're gonna get this infamous error that says duplicate key value violate unique constraint and the name of the constraint that you effectively created because now hello null are already exist so guys what do you think about this did you know about this behavior because i didn't i definitely didn't know about this behavior i'm actually surprised right guys i guess i don't use nulls as often in this particular case where things are unique so yeah i was a little bit surprised and i thought i'll share this with you now let me know what you think about this in the comment section below postgres 15 and bay is in beta still not released yet and they effectively introduced a new syntax to solve this if you consider it a problem, only if you consider it a problem. See you in the next one, guys.